more fallout from President Donald Trump's stunning firing of FBI Director James Comey. That surprise move throws into question the future of the counterintelligence investigation into the Trump campaign's possible connections to Russia. Now a special prosecutor independent of the Department of Justice may be brought in. The president unleashed a wave of tweets defending his you're fired decision, saying Comey was just not doing a good job. There is a lot of backlash, especially in Congress, where Democrats and some Republicans even are questioning the timing of the president's move. A federal district judge in Florida issuing a temporary restraining order against the Airline Pilots Associations, ordering its members not to participate in any boycotts or work slowdowns, warning that such actions would violate federal law. We showed you video yesterday of Spirit Airlines passengers getting into a huge fight after their flight was delayed for several hours. The airline sought the order after it says it canceled more than 300 flights this week because so many pilots were failing to show up. The pilots union says it will comply. All right, on the ground now, some good for good news for folks who travel a major loop around Nashville. Improvements are now in the works for I-440. TDOT announcing a plan that includes several changes between I-40 and I-24 along 440. That includes removing and replacing the pavement on 440, removing some of those raised grass medians and even adding a third lane from 21st Avenue over to West End. That will help construction set to get underway by next summer. No timetable yet on when it will all be finished, but that will help. This morning, kids skipped the bus for a good cause. It was Nashville's walk, walk and roll to school day to promote some healthy lifestyles. We followed along as the kids were walking and even biking to Warner Elementary School. Walking with them this year, Nashville Mayor Megan Berry she says it's important for kids to get the exercise in their daily routines, something she says is a priority for all of us in Nashville. When you think about how we walk around our neighborhoods, oftentimes we need a sidebar. So this year, we made sure that we put money in the school budget and the metro budget so that we can have more sidewalks. 